All right, all you reptiles and amphibians out there in TV land, it's me, Danger Dan, back again with another episode of Dare Danger Dan, the show where you dare me to draw whatever you can think of, and I just go ahead and draw it, all right? I wanna say thanks to all the people that sent in their dares for today's episode. So we got uh, Chris Ketty dared me to draw a combination between Liberace and Guy Fieri, or Fieri, or I don't know, however you like to say it. I know he likes to say it, Fieri, so that's how I'll say it for him. Uh, and then, uh, so thanks Chris Ketty for that dare. Then we also have, uh, who else we have? We got Ben Jibo, wanted to see a chill alligator playing the keyboards, all right? Uh, then we had, we had Benji Dubois, wanted to see uh, the Durr Burger character from Fortnite wearing floaties, all right? Then we got uh, Joey Rodriguez, wanted to see two muskrats, two musky muskrats, chilling in a hand basket, all right? Uh, what else do we got? Jordan Payne, wanted to see a disco beetle. We also had Drew Irvin wanted to see, and he asked for this a while back, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one in here. Sorry about the weight, Drew. He wanted to see a rhino, hippo, whale combination. So we're gonna throw all those together in today's dare, and we do still have room for more dares, so send in your live dares as I'm drawing, and I'll see if I can fit them in, okay? So stick around. All right, so first and foremost, I'm gonna try to smash together Liberace and uh, Guy Fieri. See what I can do with that. So there's the famous Liberace quote. I can't remember what, there was a, somebody in the press made fun of him and Liberace's reaction was, oh, I cried all the way to the bank. Now Liberace never sported a goatee, but today he's gonna. If anyone can think of a way to combine the names Guy Fieri and Liberace in the most audibly pleasing way, let me know, because I've been trying to think about it all day. So my grandmother was a huge Liberace fan. That's kind of how I got my master class on Liberace. But first, I want to make sure that this Guy Fieriachi has some like bedazzled cargo jorts. And I got him holding uh, I got him, I don't know if you can see it down there. Got him holding a drumstick. What's uh, what's Guy Fieri's like catchphrase like when he like really likes something? I can't remember because I've actually never sat down and watched his show before. There we go. I think I got the right combo between somewhere between Guy Fieri and Liberace looking situation here. Does anyone remember there's an episode of Rocco's Modern Life where they had a lounge lizard singer and he had like they had like a whole song sequence where it was like Come crawl with me, come crawl with me. Something about laying eggs or I don't know. Alright, this one goes out to Ben Gibo. We got our Lounge Lizard, our chill gator, playing some chill tunes on the Yamaha keyboard. You know what, I'm not either. I, I don't like pina coladas and here's why. I mean, I don't think I just, I think I just don't like the combination of coconut and pineapple, but, yeah. but really the real main reason is there's like a psychological thing. When I was getting, um, when I went to go get braces, they had to pull a bunch of teeth. Yeah. And for some reason, they couldn't do it all at once. I don't remember why, but I had to go like four times to pull a tooth each time and like each time they would use the same this like weird numbing like vaseline rub it on my gums yeah and it was pina colada flavored yeah i think i you know what you guys weren't fast enough we're just going for the drumstick shape pool. but i gotta i gotta throw one out for my speaking of drumsticks gotta throw a bone for my boy drew irvin uh you gotta get that rhino hippo whale in there, baby. A rhino hippo whale. See, I feel like all those animals like are almost kind of close looking. Kind of tricky to like make sure you fit them all in there without without them overlapping, so to speak. So I actually didn't really look into it, but muskrats, if I were to just guess off the top of my head, aren't they just like a water rat, like a water faring rat? Do they do like some musky kind of thing? Do they smell bad? Well, it's definitely a something shade pool. I don't know if you'd look at it and immediately think it's a drumstick, but uh, hey, what are you gonna do? See, I was like, uh, when Power Rangers first came out in the US, yeah. I was a Power Ranger hater. 
but here's the here's the thing is I wasn't really I just I, I sided with the Power Ranger haters for whatever reason social pressure call it what you will but I used to watch Power Rangers with my brother Ben like every time it came on and I actually loved the show but he was like really into it but I like pretended I wasn't but I loved it it was great it was giant kaiju monsters and it was it was awesome I, I still love Power Rangers to this day but in the in the playground when you're like in like second grade third grade yeah. it's easy to feel embarrassed about things and like you can feel like pressured into pretending you don't like things that you do like because you feel like you might get bullied for it all right well Lottie Don how do you do everybody out there in TV land all of you lounge lizards and amphibians thanks for tuning in to this episode of dare danger Dan all right I want to thank everybody that put in their dares for this one all right we got Drew Irvin wanted to see a whale hippo rhino combination we had Chris Ketty wanted to see the cross between Liberace and Guy Fieri and we got it we're calling it Fieriachi and uh, this is his pool party here and uh, we have Ben Jibo thank you for the dare to do a chill a chilled out uh, piano playing alligator All right. uh, Joey Rodriguez, thank you for your dare to draw a couple of uh, muskrats in a basket. Uh, Benji Dubois, my nephew, thanks for daring me to draw the burger guy from Fortnite. Um, Jordan Payne, thanks for daring me to draw a disco beetle, all right? And then Katie Dubois, thanks for Malibu Barbie. And thank you, Adam Dubois, all my nieces and nephews, of course. Uh, for the Power Rangers there, all right? So this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we all learned something about ourselves today. And uh, tune in next week between 5 and 8 p.m. I'll be doing another live stream, okay? And we'll be filming another episode of Dare Danger Dan. And I want you to be there because I need your live dares to uh, enhance the experience of the show because I can't do it without you. So send in your dares. DM me to I am Danger Dan on Instagram. Uh, comments on this video and uh, go ahead and share it because I'm having fun and I hope you are too and I'll see you next time.